Marjorie, we continue our coverage on the massive wildfires in Rodoso. So more than 25,000 acres are still burning with about 900 personnel working to put out the remainder of the flames. And while crews work around the clock to extinguish those hot spots, the residents of Rio Doso are working to piece together what's left from the fires. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz is live from the control room. And Tirza, you actually got to speak with the mayor of Rio Doso uh, earlier today. Mm -hmm. What type of support is he looking for right now? Andy, Monica, what they're looking for right now is time and financial help. The mayor of Rio Doso saying those are the two main things that residents are in need of right now. Today, I spoke with a local tattoo shop who's holding an event next weekend where they're hoping to alleviate one of those needs. What it means to me is just being able to give back to a community that's given so much to us as El Pasoans and myself personally. El Pasoans continue to use their platforms to provide relief to the people of Rio Doso. The owner of Mesa Street Tattoo, Mark Perez, will be hosting a fundraiser on July 6, where artists and piercers will be using their skills to raise funds for the village. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have $100 tattoos, and we're going to be having $30 piercings from 10 o'clock until 8 o'clock. 100% of the proceeds will go to the Community Foundation of Lincoln County Shelter Fund. But is saying they want to get in as many people as possible while still giving top of the line service. Black ink only as is for the tattoos and then a lot of them are going to be New Mexico related. So we'll have Zia symbols and anything that's related to, you know, New Mexico in that manner. Rio Losa Mayor Leon Crawford telling KTSM he is grateful for the amount of support the village has received from the El Paso community. We are so appreciative of all the love that you've shown us, the money that you've shown us, the trucks that are full of food and water that you've shown us. There's no way for us to repay you except for to get open and try to make this community as beautiful as it once was so you can enjoy it once again. That is hoping his fundraiser and contribution will go a long way. I'm hoping that everyone can just come out and show their support. We're going to have a couple of food trucks. We're going to have plenty of tattoos, plenty of piercings going on. Just come out here and show support for our sister, Rio Doso, that we all love so much. And just try to give a little bit back if you can. And Andy and Monica, if tattoos and needles are not for you, but you would still like to contribute, Bata says the shop is taking straight donations, no ink and no pain required. For now, live in the control room, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News, back to you.